Happy New Year's! Oh, sorry, it's probably a little bit loud. Hopefully your head's not hurting too much. Happy New Year from Grey's Builds. And yes, we've got a fry bat even on New Year's Day. This week, we're reviewing another one of the Bridge Road uh, beers. This is the Bridge Road Brewers Robust Porter. Not a huge fan of porters. Don't really like dark beers very much. But anyway, let's give it a go. Hopefully you're not too hungover. Being New Year's Day, I'll try and talk a little bit more quietly. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I can't talk quietly. Happy New Year's. It's actually quite nice. So the uh, Bridge Road Brewers Robust Porter is a 5.2% uh, beer, which makes it 1.4 standard drinks, so it does have a little bit of a kick. Uh, they suggest uh, that their Robust Porter strikes the perfect balance between light roast, nuttiness and subtle sweetness. It pours a deep brown with a, an off-white head and a medium body. Not touching that. English malts and rolled oats provide luxurious backdrop for the chocolate, coffee and vanilla flavours on the finish. Whilst it's popular in cooler months, the Robust Porter is a, is a dark beer lover's dream all year round. It, it's actually not. Not a, not a Guinness drinker. Um, I like the flavour, but I find it's very, very filling. Um, they recommend that the uh, Bridge Road Brewers Robust Porter uh, is excellent with freshly shucked oysters or dark chocolate. Okay, has a very high malt profile and uh, is sort of mid-range in the hops profile, but it's actually very drinkable. Definitely get the uh, chocolatey uh, and nutty. Um, sort of aftertaste, um, but that's a nice beer. Hmm. So on my Spanish scale, what do I give the Bridge Road Brewers Robust Porter? Uh, not being a dark beer, no, try again. Not being a dark beer drinker normally, um, it's actually very nice. Uh, Probably not one that I would drink a lot of. I find the, the dark beers are very, very heavy. Um, but it's actually very nice. And yes, I can see how that would go with um, fresh seafood like oysters and things like that. Mm. Very nice. Let's give it a... Uh, let's give it a four out of five spanners. Which is pretty high for me with a dark beer. But it's nice. All right, let's get on to this week's tool for this New Year's Day. We have another one of the M12 range. Uh, still expanding my uh, M12 range of Milwaukee tools. Please don't tell Mrs. Gray, although she was with me when I bought this one. This is an M12 F-R-A-I-W-F-12-0, that's the Australian part number. Uh, the American part numbers are much easier, A2565-20. This is a half inch drive uh, right angle impact wrench and of course being fuel it's a brushless motor. Alright, let's unbox the sucker. This, I guess, is the big daddy of the compact uh, wrenches. And being impact has a much bigger head than the previous uh, M12 range that I've tested before. Standard M12 battery. What can I tell you about the M12 
FRAIWF-12-0 or 2565-20. Uh, it has 270 Newton meters of fastening torque and 300 Newton meters of nut busting torque. Why they can't say undoing torque, I'm not sure, but nut busting sounds better for uh, marketing, I guess. Uh, without the battery, it weighs 1.3 kilos and is 338 millimeters long with a 75 millimeter head. Uh, like all the M12 range, it's really nicely finished. It has the uh, rubbery grip here. It's reversible. Um, and it has the torque selection function here in a button on the back. And it also has the fuel gauge. Fuel gauge here. And of course, it has a light. Uh, probably a little bit differently to a lot of the M12 range. The light is normally up close to the head and down on the, this one actually shines out uh, still on that area. Um, it's a, uh, an alloy metal uh, gearbox and head, uh, given its torque ability. Um, and I decided to get the half inch uh, version. There is a 3 8 inch version, exactly the same specs, but there's a 3 8 inch version as well. Um, right, what's its specs? Uh, it will do uh, RPM wise on setting 1 from 0 to 1550 RPM, on setting 2 0 to 2300 RPM and on setting 3 0 to 3000 RPM. Uh, it also has um, put my glasses back on for this uh, the impacts per minute on the number one setting are uh, 0 to 1350 impacts per minute on setting 2, 0 to 2700 impacts per minute on setting 3, uh, 0 to 3600 impacts per minute. Like all of the M12 range, especially the, the new fuel uh, range, they're very nicely made, uh, they're well built, they're robust and uh, this one's got a bit of heft to it uh, because of the metal gearbox etc but of course when you're undoing things with 300 newton meters of torque um, you need a little bit of heft to them. Uh, I would imagine having a small battery, this one's only a uh, three and a half amp hour battery um, you probably wouldn't want to use a 2 amp hour, it wouldn't last very long I would imagine with this unit um, but still takes all of the M12 batteries which of course I've got quite a few now with my M12 range. These tools are available in Australia from the big tool shops um, and eBay for about $289 uh, as a bare skin tool. Um, Amazon does not seem to be bringing in the American uh, part numbered version uh, which is a bit of a shame because traditionally they're a little bit cheaper uh, but I purchased this one from one of the big tool outlets Total Tools um, yeah it's uh, a lot beefier uh, still nice and compact in the head to be able to get into tight areas certainly much easier than getting in a, a gun type impact wrench um, so for value for money at $289, it's probably a little bit on the expensive side, but it's certainly not one of the dearest of the M12 range, um, but it's, uh, it's getting up there. Um, value for money, uh, if you can get it for cheaper than $289, um, then that's probably better, but at $289, I'm thinking it's a three and a half out of five beers. For functionality, all of the M12 range has impressed me so far, especially the fuel with the brushless motors. Uh, this one uh, no, uh, will be no different, I'm sure. The ability to be able to get into tight spots with just a short socket on here means that you, you're going to be less than 100 millimetres or 4 inches uh, in depth there. So that's a big bonus. Uh, so for functionality, I'm thinking it's a solid uh, 4 out of 5 beers in fact, let's go four and a half out of five beers. 
I reckon it's pretty hard to beat for that. Anyway, wanted to wish you all a very happy new year. Let's hope that 2021 is a much better year than what 2020 has been. Um, I hope you're safe and happy where you are. Um, please continue to enjoy your time off if you've got any. Uh, enjoy your time with family and friends and have a few beers. And uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers.